Okay guys, so we're going to have a look at how to construct one of the beautiful little tonic bows. So I've gone ahead and I've cut all my bits out. So I've used a 240 GSM to be able to cut the coloured part of my bow. Now, if we're going to place a colour behind there, you don't want to be using another cardstock, okay? The reason being a 240 on top and a 240 on the bottom, you've got 480 GSM that you're going to try and curl which is a definite no-no. So what you need to do is cut the main part of the bow out of 240 GSM and then use a copy of paper, a coloured paper for the underside. So what we're going to do is we're just going to apply a little adhesive just into that centre panel and we're going to place them straight over the top, matching up all the little outside edges all the way round and then we're just going to place them back down on the board. So that's the large part. This is the little baby one. And then we've also got the tails that we're going to do as well. So this one's the tail, so we're just applying the adhesive in there, placing it over the top. So once you've done that, you now need to bend your card. You need to be able to crease, bend it, but we're not crease, so pencil. And you're now breaking the fibres in that card, but not creasing it. If you go and do that straight over, all you're going to do is end up with a crease. You need to train your paper, your card, to go over. So just by using a pencil, using your, I don't know, your embossing tool, as long as it's round, it's going to work perfectly. So just go over, like you so. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to glue that one on top of there with just my normal adhesive, okay? You can use the glue gun for this, you can use normal glue for this, it's entirely up to you, but I'm just using the normal glue to be able to do that. Because if I use my glue gun and put the hot adhesive there, and then put the hot adhesive there, when I squash that down, the heat from that second dob is going to melt that top one and it's just going to spring open. So if you try and use two different types of adhesive, it's not going to melt the hot glue. So that one, and that one. So just take them, just hold them in the centre, just for a little minute, if, if you want to. You know, the little craft pegs, absolutely perfect for just putting in the middle there. So now we're going to close that outside edge. So I'm going to use my hot glue, because I want this to be a really strong fix. So a little bit of glue on that outside edge, take it in, and because I don't want to melt that link, I'm going straight in and pushing it down in the middle. Now, if you are using hot glue, my fingers are like a best asbestos, so you be careful, okay? Because as soon as you squash that, the glue does pop out. So a little blob there straight over the top and I'm going to instantly go back in there, place another bit in there and close it off. So you've now got oops, the two little bits of your bow. So let's construct this. Bottom bow, I like to place the adhesive down the side panels and go in there. So just hold it in the centre and then it's going to self-align where it wants to glue. And then I'm going to go in with my little bow. Just give it a little bit of a squiggle, okay? So you're just making that area there flat. Put your adhesive on, straight into the middle. Hold it down for a couple of minutes if you're using the glue gun. And you have got the most beautiful little bow. I hope this is helps. There is a second die in the collection that you can wrap around that middle panel as well. But as you can see, you don't particularly need it. That's entirely up to you. Hope this helps.